All right, now I'm on the download site from Corsair, and I'm just going to pick IQ. I'm going to, I don't need to register to do that. This is updated all the time. This was updated last in February, uh, February 25th, which is actually exactly a month ago from when I'm filming this. So I'm downloading this software because I want to show you how good Corsair's Dominator Platinum RGB RAM can look when it's controlled by this, this proprietary software, the IQ software. By the way, I should mention that I also have a Corsair keyboard, which looks really good. Um, and you can sync that keyboard to the RAM as well. I'm a little less enthusiastic about syncing peripherals to components, which is why, well, honestly, I wish Corsair would stick with a, uh, an industry standard. Uh, now it's going to reboot. So I'm going to get this installed and I will be back to you in a second. All right, I'm back with the IQ software. It actually indicated that I needed a firmware update for my RAM. And I just want to show you something pretty cool that Corsair has implemented. It actually has a timer or a countdown timer built into the RAM sticks. As the firmware applies, it's actually showing each stick updated. So I'm now on my fourth stick. Okay, so that's pretty cool Corsair, I must admit. As my firmware is updating, I can see the progress on my RAM. That is pretty neat. I can also see it on my screen, by the way. I'm at 90, now I'm at 100% now. So here is my Corsair RAM in its full glory. And you can see it has a lot of lighting effects. I'm going to try to show you kind of the most interesting. So sh certainly it can go kind of do a a wave, it's doing a color wave, but you can also set it up so that I think they call it a spiral rainbow. Watch this guys. I'm going to apply this. This is kind of insane. Because the, this is the first RAM set, RAM kit that has addressable RGBs, what you're seeing is different colors of RGB on the same RAM stick. Okay? So there you can see kind of we're going from purple to or green to blue with and it's actually it's like a waterfall down the stick as opposed to across from one stick to the next. That is something you cannot do with motherboard software and I'm guessing that is why Corsair is not implementing any or allowing, I should say, any motherboard controls of this Dominator RAM. It's just a little bit too sophisticated. Its lighting controller is a little bit too advanced. You couldn't do this with motherboard software, and they want you to see the full effect. So that is a pretty cool feature. It's not synced with this motherboard. The motherboard uh, and, and all the case fans are kind of doing their own thing here. Um, but if you want a light show, you've got it here. You see, you see all the fans are doing their sequence of addressable RGB effects, and then the RAM itself has its addressable RGB effect, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, I do have to have two software suites loaded to do that, and I would need a third. I can do the same thing with my EVGA card. I'm not going to download the EVGA software right now, but you can do that, and you'd have three, uh, three RGB apps running in the background to control that. Now, I do have to flip over back to my screen because I do want to give you a, a word of warning about these software suites. They require a ton of processing power. This is something you probably have never seen anybody else mention. But, for instance, right now, just to get my RAM to do that, what they call the spiral rainbow, it's using 1.5% of my CPU's capacity. And I've got a 9900K in here. All right. So I'm just going to show you when I shut off the lighting, I'm going to shut off the lighting. IQ should drop. Let's see. There it goes. You saw it here first, guys. I dropped 1% of my CPU load just by turning off the lighting on my RAM. So that is a little bit of a disadvantage, okay? If you're going, if you're going for all-out benchmarks, so you want to tweak your game, so you have maximum quality, well, your RAM lighting is sucking up one percent of your of your system's power. I'm going to turn it back on just to show you that was no fluke, okay? Turn it 
turning it back on and it jumped back up to 1.7 percent so that's a shame from my point of view that is a shame particularly now that Corsair is requiring you to use IQ for its RAM lighting all right so just lighting up that RAM takes 1% of my 9900 case processing power, which is pretty significant considering how powerful that CPU is. With that said, Corsair's IQ software does allow some really cool effects. I'm going to show off a number of patterns that you cannot implement on any other RAM. So we're going to move from spiral, spiral rainbow to sequential. All right. It's lighting up each LED in sequence. I can actually flip the order of that. Like for instance, I can go down. So here it goes. That is pretty cool. Uh, another example that takes advantage of the addressable RGBs is called Stack. Take a look at this. Very cool effect. Each RAM stick has its own color and each LED is being controlled independently, as you can see. Obviously, you cannot do this with motherboard software. Another one I really like is called Inside Out. Let's take a look at that one. What's cool about this one is you can actually set a different uh, a color on the interior versus the exterior. So there you see it can be going from pink to blue. I kind of like that as like a heartbeat. With previous iterations of RGB RAM, you could just have your RAM flash red or flash blue. But here you're having the individual LEDs flash different colors. So again, really cool effects. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna just leave with one leave you with one last one called water. Oh, that is pretty neat. It's like a drop of water hitting the ram, and it spreads out from there. So okay, as you can see, Corsair's IQ software may be using a lot of processing power, but it's doing some pretty cool stuff. I really, I really do appreciate that Corsair is trying to, to innovate in this arena. Um, and, you know, the fact that you can't control this with your motherboard, well, that's a bit of a disadvantage, but I get it. I get it. I, I get what they're trying to do. I get that they're trying to do something different. I do want to thank Corsair for providing this sample of its Dominator Platinum RGB RAM. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time.